Peace, Salam, Shalom, Hotep, y'all. While this is still on my mind, I'm going to go ahead and get it into this video. When it comes to our natural hair, I'm noticing that schools are suspending our children. We are getting fired for the kinky, long, um, luscious body that we have to our hair. Let me tell y'all something. On the real, until we start to sue the shit out of schools, individuals, businesses, I mean, clog the judicial system with the idea that it is against the law for us to look the way that God intended us to look. It's like giving a blue jay a ticket for being blue. Does that make sense? It's like imprisoning a river for flowing. Does that make sense? But as long as we lay down for this, and I mean truly, we're going to have to lay down for it because they've already conditioned most of us that perming our hair is the way to go. Straightening our hair is the way to go. We've conformed naturally because we do. I mean, truly, there's not a lot of fight left in most of us anymore. But when it becomes against the law to be your natural self, how, how do we reconcile that with our children? Because, of course, they're the ones being hardest hit. Our children are being thrown out of school. They are, they are being disciplined. And for what? For being their natural selves. When is enough enough? Hmm? Because I'm coming to the idea that I guess we've been at war so long, just taking one more thing doesn't matter. But a lot of our forefathers who saw this coming, this is why they said we had to have our own businesses. We had to have our own neighborhoods. We had to have our own schools. We have to have our own infrastructure. So we are protected against such occurrences of, shall we say, the social construct. We don't have enough businesses of our own to go, oh, baby, no, no, go ahead and quit that job. I got us. We ain't got it like that. Not on a large scale. And to, it seems like even standing up for the fellows that are being natural in the job site also gets your butt fired. So, what is Sister Fee's resolution? Sue they asses. Sue, 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 sue. Clog the line. Use the legal system the same way the Jews use it. The same way our South American brothers use it. Because I don't see... I don't, and forgive me, but I don't see the NAACP addressing this. Where's Nation of Islam? So I'm going to address it. One black woman is going to address this. Yes, I am. Looking my natural self. <laughs> Y'all, for real. It has come to a point of no return at this at this juncture. If we don't get it right now, we ain't gonna never get it. Never. Our children are watching how we fight this fight. 
So they'll know how to fight it. And if they see you lay down for it, then what? How does, how does that affect the psyche of the next generation? I mean, most of them have already watched us get browbeat in our own organizations. I said it. I said it. They've watched the organization control your very motion. And that's okay. That's fine. That's fine if that's what you want. That's cool. If you're going to conform in that fashion. I ain't got a problem with that. But my problem comes in when it is law that your natural self, which is the law of nature, the law of God, man outlaws it. My big question is, where's the outcry from so-called organizations that we have been giving time, money, ideas? Some of us have given our very families. Where they at? Will they employ you? Will they employ you? When you stand up for your natural self, do they have do they have it in the organization to do such a thing? Hmm? Because I'm under the idea that um, the leaders of said organizations are taken care of seven, eight, tenfold. Why doesn't the blessing trickle down? After all, a blessing is supposed to roll downhill, right? Hmm. So I, I, I just, it has come to my aware, my natural self. I can't imagine going in somewhere and somebody telling me, um, you're going to have to cut your dreadlocks. Mm, no. Why? This is my natural self. Which is probably why fee works for fee. Just to put that out there. I, I Even in my, when I did have a job, I didn't conform. Not, not in the hair sense. No, 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 no. But I was told on that job that people with dreadlocks and braids don't last long. I was specifically told that after being asked when I was going to cut my locks by my uh, then acting supervisor trainer because dreadlocks, and this is his words, dreadlocks contain odor. They, basically, he was telling me my hair stink. But um, when I offered for him to prove that, backed off. Well, it's against HIPAA laws to have dreadlocks. Where? I read the HIPAA laws. Where? Point it out. You're going to have to specifically point that out for to me. Challenge the system. Sometimes, sometimes, and this is a psychological ploy that's used, y'all, so we have to keep ahead of the game. We have to learn to play chess, not checkers. Because some of y'all are sincerely playing checkers, man. Y'all are jumping all over the damn place. Choop, choop, choop. It ain't did nothing. It ain't went nowhere. Challenge the system. They tell you something. That don't mean it's true. Make them point it out to you. Make them go in their policy. Not only just go in the policy, because here, here is where you truly play chess. When they give you that employee handbook, read it. Read it. 
Read it right then, right there. And keep a hard copy because y'all on my job, what they did was... They gave us the first one, and then when the revision came out, they were like, you have to go online to get it. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I need a hard copy. Because then I was able to take one handbook and compare it to the new handbook. Understand what I'm saying now? You have to keep a record. They love writing stuff down, so you should love keeping it. So when you have a problem on your job, it is not personal, it's business. You can go to your handbook and you can quote out of it. Now you might make a few enemies in HR, I did. You gonna make a few enemies, not only with your supervisor, but with your managers too. They will find a way to get rid of you, but you will not go voluntarily not into that good night and as you as you make these little meetings around your job note it keep a notebook keep a running record so when you do have enough when you've had enough and you decide to do what sister fee said do and that sue the shit out of somebody you have a running record of everything that took place <laughs> that's called one of these gotcha bitches hey Jason <laughs> when I was on the job I, I'd always do it, it was a beautiful I'd walk out my manager's office and it, it'd be a gotcha bitch moment for real in some cases although I had some cool supervisors y'all know who you are a place in the east I love her dearly and then there's my favorite angel Mikael on the female sense Mwah, love y'all but for real y'all when they start coming at your babies mama gets angry I'm a mama bear and y'all coming after my natural babies, my natural babies. How you going to do? We cannot allow them to do this. Our natural selves are the most beautiful selves we could possibly be. After all, why is the rest of the world trying to look like us while they're trying to ban the real ones? Fuck that. Be your own ab original self and allow your children to be their ab original selves and sue the system when it does not allow you to be your natural self fuck the law of man since president bush decided to put it that way the law of the jungle it would be the law of man, not the law of the jungle. Man, mm, give me the law of the jungle any day because that puts everybody on a level playing field. They can't win that way. For surely the laws of men are written by men and can be unwritten by man as well little wisdom love your natural self hey y'all for real we gotta wake up get up dress up and make it happen this is sister fundi fee of the agenda right up there y'all know where to find us hit me up anytime always got my ear to the street Ear to the street, my ear to the street, working it out for y'all. Love y'all, and I do it for y'all. Peace, salam, shalom, hotep. Until next time, be good to yourself and each other.